Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Victory at Sea. This is a World War II naval real-time strategy game and I found out about it after I was browsing the Coming Soon section of Steam. And I saw the logo and thought, hang on, hang on, I'm pretty sure I've seen that logo elsewhere before. And lo and behold, I was right, it's the same logo that is used in the war game called, obviously, Victory at Sea. And it's something I've played several times over the past four or five years. Now, that war game is unique in my experience because it's the only World War II naval... War game that I've played that is A accessible, B fun, and C actually not just watered down and dull as dishwater because they tend to fall into one or two traps or one or two categories really. Either being a completely impenetrable block of rules and history where you need to be a historian to run it and use three calculators and it's just a simulation rather than a game, but that's fine if that's what people want. Or it goes the other way and it, lose all, it loses everything about it and it might not as well be historical and you lose all context and you may as well just be playing any old war game. But Victory C is fun and accessible and actually has a bit of history in there and you might actually learn something. And it's good for someone like me who has a sort of passing interest in this sort of thing. So anyway, I'm going to show you a bit of the game that it is based on, obviously. And we'll go from there, I guess. Obviously, this isn't a review, as always. This is just a first impressions. So I'm going to show you an, an historical scenario, and then I'm going to show you a, uh, how you do custom battles. not going to do one, then I'll do a bit of campaign game, okay? So historical scenario, and we're going to do... Uh, what we're going to do? Ah, the final battle. Here we are. The yeah, ship level will set as standard. We can either be Royal Navy or Kriegsmarine. We're going to do the Royal Navy. So, having destroyed the HMS Hood for 20 years, the pride of the Royal Navy, the Bismarck could not be permitted to survive and every warship that could reach the area was dispatched to hunt her down. A bit of a sort of quick summary history lesson here. Um, Bismarck versus Hood. Um, Hood exploded like violently. I think there's still a bit of debate on what did it, whether it be a torpedo or uh, one of the shells from the Bismarck went in the ammo store or someone dropped a fag end or something. Who knows? But either way, um, it exploded and um, we didn't like it, so we're coming after the Bismarck. So anyway, a quick rundown of the UI. Top left, we've got the ship selection. Uh, these are the arrows there. Ship selection shows you the health of the ship and also the name and what type of ship it is. Bottom left, we've got the health again and the crew. We've got the speed. You can alter that. Uh, we've also got the person who's a uh, Captaining that, we've got the guns and armaments and such at the bottom, as well as readouts for our props, our fuel engine, all of that sort of thing. If you get hit, then these will go orange and red. And obviously that might be uh, bad, depending on what system it is, because if you obviously you lose something like your turbine, then you're not going to be going very fast. If your rudder breaks, then you're not going to be turning. Are you, Bismarck? Yeah, that's, um, yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, we've got time dilation here, so we can speed up and slow down time. Uh, I don't think you can do that historically, but, you know, it's, it's a game, obviously. Uh, we've also got buttons for retreat, defend, and that sort of thing. And we've got camera controls and other miscellaneous stuff at the top. So I'm just going to toggle our tactical view and go into here, and we'll switch our camera mode. So there we go. There's one of our ships, the HMS King George V, which is obviously a King George V a battleship. Look at that. Not bad at all. Models are quite simple, but uh, they do the job, probably. I, I, I am not... Like I say, I have a sort of passing interest in this. Um, I'm more about the uh, the gameplay rather than anything else, but, uh, you know, it's all right. It does the job, especially when you're looking out from here. Um, perfectly fine, nothing wrong with it. Let's have a look at the Rodney. I really like the Rodney. It's a Nelson-class battleship. And yes, there is one called Nelson. So, we've got two ships here, the Rodney and the King George V, and we're steaming towards full pelt at the Bismarck, which is over there. Let's just go to uh, free camera so we can scroll around. We've also got, oh, we've got two of the ships turned up, so let's switch back. We've got the Norfolk, which is an Norfolk-class cruiser. There we go. Steaming again, straight towards it. And we've got the uh, the Dorsetshire, which is an Norfolk-class as well. Cool, so we're steaming towards that. Let's just have a look at tactical view. Um, ah, okay, so the uh, the Dorsetshire is going to um, gonna encounter the Bismarck a lot before... Well, probably, yeah, a lot sooner than others. So I could either slow it down or I could charge it in and show you a little bit of the fighting, a little bit of the violence, and a little bit of what happens when you uh, encounter a ship of oh, ten times your size. It's not that, but it's, it's a, it's a, it's a fairly, it's a little bit bigger. Anyway, let's uh, let's do that. So we're going to steam towards it. As you can see, the Bismarck's over there. Let's actually let's have, let's have a look at the Bismarck. I believe there's a bit of uh, smoke coming out the back. Um, again, long story short, what happens is we chased it with some really obsolete biplanes and. Uh, we shoved a torpedo up its ass, so it's um, a bit damaged, and um, its rudder is jammed. So, uh, yeah, that's helped us in this situation. I don't know if that's um, actually been simulated in this scenario, but who knows, anyway. It doesn't seem to be going that fast, and it's also... I don't know whether that's... 
No, that is a bit of black smoke, yeah. Anyway, there's the Bismarck. Hmm. Right, let's just head back over to my boat. Uh, actually, we'll switch to the camera mode. Not a big fan of the camera controls. They do function and they are very quick to operate. I wish I could pan, though. I wish I could pan up and down. But there might be a button to do it, but uh, middle mouse to spin things around and such ain't that. Anyway, so controlling the ship is extremely simple. Whatever you've got selected, which is this one, as you can see, there's a selection there. You left-click anywhere, and it will try and turn that way. Okay, if you click there, obviously, it will just try and turn. Um, you can alter your speed. Obviously, I can just put the speed to there and then try and turn that so it's going to turn on a dime and um, we'll speed up to max speed again uh, firing is again extremely simple it is just right clicking however if you right click it will fire all available systems at that location so in this case we'll have our bow guns our stern guns and our starboard torpedoes and secondary armament so everything will go there and obviously they have a reload time if you click on any of these however you then get the range and the arc as you can see our front guns and when we right click we'll only fire that one boom and splash in the water there you go quite simple right very easy to understand very easy to understand indeed so we're probably going to get in range of this and um, technically it should be in range a lot sooner than I am because um, it's packing bigger guns probably 16 inches or something like that I don't actually know everything by the way every Everything I'm saying when it comes to um, the historical side of this, I can guarantee I'm going to be crucified in the comments for getting it wrong. I apologise. <laughs> anyway, let's just quickly steam straight towards it. Obviously, we don't want to put our side to it because we're an easier target. Although, I still think that this thing is not going to last long at all. But, you know, we'll see, won't we? Right. Uh, what's it doing? Let's have a quick zoom in. We can actually ch uh, take off the ship information if we want. There we go going towards us. Obviously ship information is sort of limited. I can see its overall health and its name and its class and who, who owns it. That That's it, really. You, obviously if you can look at it, you've got big smoke. Oh, that's not good! If you've got loads of smoke coming out of it, you know there's some damage. Here we go, there's the shot. And the whizzing in, the whizzing in. Is it going to hit? I think we're going to get hit. No, we're not. Splash. It's splashed in the water. Okay. Can I fire back? I can. Fire back. There we go. I'll be honest, my gun ain't as big as, uh, as, big as his. He's got bigger cannons, and um, bigger is better, really, uh, especially in this here. Oh, I have hit the front. I have hit the front. It actually hit the water there, but I uh, saw a little spark. Oh, good grief. I've been hit. I've been hit. Look, my health's going down. Let's just keep firing. There we go. Let's switch over to the King George V and uh, see what he's up to. Just kinking about here. Are you charging straight towards Bismarck? You are. Your guns are... A lot more longer range, but you're not going to get there in time. I mentioned that. I, I am literally just charging this in so I can show you uh, how it works. Well, how it works when you don't, you know, pilot these things properly. <laughs> right. Is that a return pilot? Captain of these things. That's that's right. That's right. Anyway, let's see if I can avoid these things. Just turn left and right. Whee! There we go. There we go. It's splashed. Um, in terms of simulation, I don't know how deep this simulate things. I really don't. Um, obviously, we've got crew on the bottom there. I don't know whether it simulates, um, you know, your crew being green or experienced. I don't know whether it simulates if you rock the ship back and forward to turn things left and right and that sort of thing. If you were, like, trying to do evade, whether that'll slow you down on your reload or your accuracy or anything like that, or whether it can give you a little damage for, you know, just really doing extreme sort of manoeuvres. Don't know how much that's sim uh, simulated, if at all. I have a feeling it just isn't. I have a feeling it just isn't, but, you know, I didn't program the game, so I don't know. Anyway, we're getting a lot of splashes here, which is a good sign, because, um, you know, I'd rather that than a big explosion. So, again, we are tonking straight towards it. Looks like I've got some secondary armament firing as well, so we can get some more secondary armament. There we go. And, I mean, not the secondary armament's going to do anything against this thing. So, there we go. I'm getting up close to it now, and um, I'm guessing... I'm guessing there would be a point where it wouldn't be able to fire at me because it doesn't have the gun depression, but again, I don't think any of that's simulated. So, I am hitting this thing, but it's doing absolutely nothing at all. What I'm hoping to do is get in torpedo range, which should work, although the Bismarck, I think, does have a torpedo belt, but um, again, I don't know if that is simulated or not. Again, I, 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 I think... I don't think it is. But we'll see. I, I don't know. I, I have no idea whether things like torpedo belts simulate or radar or anything like that. Okay, so I'm going to turn it quickly like that. Reduce its speed massively. And then... Oh, actually, no. Let's not do that. Oh, that's crippled. Um, you know what? Just fire. Just fire everything now while you can because you're about to explode, mate. 
Fire everything, fire everything, fire the f everything! There's a torpedo! It's off, it's off, it's off, it's off, it's off! Props damaged. I damaged the props, even though I hit the front. Hmm, alright then. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, that hurt. Yeah, that, uh, that didn't, that didn't work at all. Um, I would have assumed at that angle, it would have glanced off, but I, I don't think that's, again, I don't think that's sort of simulated. Right, so, anyway, the Rodney. This is, this is where we're going to get some, uh, you know, a couple of, uh, shots in here, so I should be in range now. Uh, fire? Nope, I'm just out of range, so we're still steaming, st you know what, let's steam literally straight towards the thing. This one, the Norfolk, can go over there, we're going to actually turn it. So we get, um, we're going to come in at the front, so it's going to have to decide what's it going to sh what's it going to shoot at. There's the front guns of this thing. Oh, yes. There we go. They're <laughs> meaty cannons. Very, very meaty. Right, let's just zoom in here. And here's the shots, here's the shots, here's the shots. Splash. Obligatory jump cut. Right, so, still steaming straight towards it. I'm probably going to turn side on here so I can get my... Aft guns in as well. Rodney will do something similar, but it doesn't have any aft guns really. Not ma not main armament, but um, there's this one in the middle, which can't. Can that fire over that? I don't think it can. It's like a Q gun or something, so it can't really fire. Oh god, we're getting shot again. Uh, it can't really fire over itself, I don't think. So anyway, let's just fire this. Oh, look at that! And the Rodney. I don't think it's in range. It's not in range. Turbine damaged. Oh, turbine damaged. That's not great. That's not that's not fantastic at all, is it? However, I've just got, what is that, fire system? I've damaged, damaged something. And where the shots are going to whiz past. I wonder if there's a time when the shells have hit each other. I'm, prob I'm probably guessing there is. And... That hit the water then, but damaged that. That, that thing is that thing's so sinking, surely. There we go. There's another shot. I'm just using tab now and tabbing between the different ships. Uh, just so I can easily... Uh, to keep looking, keep watchful eye on this thing. That does not look like it is in the best of health. Um, it's on fire. It's <laughs> yeah, that's not too great, is it? What was that? What have I just fired there? The Rodney. Ah, the Rodney. Ah, the Bismarck has surrendered. There we go. Um, it's probably something to do with everything being on fire and such. So there we go. There's just a quick historical battle. Um, not too sure if that happened. I don't actually know what happened to the Bismarck. Was it scuttled? I can't remember. Anyway, so historical scenario. There's other ones as well. So we've got Clash of the Giants, Alex Skirmish. There's other ones, and I'm told that there are going. There's going to be more added as well. So let's have a quick look at custom battle. I'm not going to do one, but you can select your points value, and then you can basically pick between any of uh, these: so Britain, USA, Germany, Japan, Italy, etc. And then you can select the uh, boat you want. So let's have a look at the Yamato, which is massive. Look at that. Displacement of nearly 70,000 tons. A, B and C turrets, which are three times 18 inch guns. And an X and Y turret, which is on the back, which is again three times 18 inch guns each. Nine torpedo, uh, nine port armaments, nine, uh, yeah, nine port and nine secondary. No torpedoes, no anti-submarine and no aircraft. When it say anti-submarine, it means death charges. Um, obviously there are aircraft carriers, so there's one there. There you go. Um, I haven't actually encountered an aircraft yet. I have encountered a sub and they are really annoying. In fact, there it is there, the Type 9. Horrible thing. Um, Graf Zeppelin carrier. Obviously Bismarck we've just uh, had a little skirmish with. You couldn't really call that a little skirmish. <laughs> Uh, obviously, you've got Italy, Japan, and all this sort of stuff. There's a, there's a lot of boats in it. I think there are close to 100 boats in it, so that is probably more than enough for most people. But anyway, yeah, that, that's what you would do. is You would just pick your points value like that. You would make the fleet, you would make the opposing fleet, and then you would just go from there, really. Uh, and obviously, you can randomise it and such. Uh, I don't think it... Uh, can you Britain v. Britain? Or Britain v. America, maybe? Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. <laughs> a bit weird, but you could do that. It's up to you, isn't it? Anyway, uh, let's have a quick look at the campaign. When you do campaign gaming, you can do Pacific, Mediterranean, or Atlantic. I'm not going to actually start another one. I'm just going to go to Lord and Lord... Uh, that one, actually. Yep, yeah, that one. What happens is you will pick your... Um your theatre, Pacific, Atlantic, Mediterranean, and then you will uh, start off. And you'll be given uh, just one ship, basically. You will start off with one ship. 
it looks like we're actually wanting a fight straight away, so I'll just jump in. So you'll it'll basically say, yep, you, oh, there's my objective. Destroy the enemy cargo ships and their escorts. Now, this is something, what I've done, I've actually just driven into this, and uh, I just need to take these, uh, take it out, basically, so we're just going to go straight into the main view here, and we will go straight towards it. Where's the cargo ship? The cargo ship is over there, actually. Is that a cargo ship? I'm just going to go straight towards the cargo ship. There we go. Um, yeah, and you will pick, obviously, your... Um, your theatre, and then as you, you, well, as you just roam around really in the ocean, you will encounter different fleets, and you will take them out. Obviously, it could be something similar like this, which is just a supply uh, run going there, and oh, there we go, firing away at uh, their destroyer over here. And problem is, I'm not in a great position. Can I fire back? Nope, cannot. I'm miles away. Oh, there's their shots whizzing over the top of me. Just keep firing away there. And oh, I fired torpedoes as well. I don't think they're going to hit. Not this range. Surely they're not going to hit this range. I mean, lucky things have happened. I'm not going to hit. I'm bloody going to hit. No, the missed. Oh, I was so close. That was so close. Good grief. Anyway, my standard shot. Oh, there's torpedoes. So I'm just going to quickly turn. And um, yeah. Your, your torpedoes suck, mate. There you go. It's easy to dodge torpedoes. Really, really, really easy. Especially when you can pause it like that. There we go. Keep firing away because this ship's almost dead. Ship's destroyed. Turn around. And we need to take out that over there. So we're just going to switch to our other destroyer, which is... Is it damaged? No, the, the Norman's a bit damaged. There we go. Go over there. Max speed. It's going to try and run away, obviously. But we've got an intercept course on this. And we intercept course on this, and eventually we'll get to a point where we are going to be able to shoot it. But yes, you will uh, you will roam around and you will attack different ships and different fleets. And as you uh, sink more stuff, you will get more war bonds, and that allow you to get different ships and add them to your fleet. So I'm just going to fire here. Just keep firing. It's only a cargo ship, so it's not going to last long. Um, I'm just going to put the torpedoes into it. There we go, and it's destroyed. Simple as you like. So once you've actually uh, come out of a uh, come out of a, a battle like that, you'll see, so, again, you'll see how many war bonds you've got, uh, enemy ships defeat, and all that sort of thing. And you will also increase in your level or your rank, whatever you'd like to call that, as you uh, just progress on. So uh, savage parts uh, have recovered from the enemy. We would need to return home for my reward. Okay, let's let's go to Portsmouth then. Okay, so we're going to go at times uh, 12 speed and we're just going to head across the channel and we're going to probably dock in uh, in Portsmouth and have a little chat with uh, the Admiralty and see if they're going to give us some free stuff. I don't think they will, but uh, we can buy them. If we've got war bonds, we can bribe them and such. Right. <laughs> There's uh, one of our fleets as well going into uh, Portsmouth. There we go. Just going to drive straight into the thing. And... There we go, enter port. Yes, we do. We want to enter the port. So I'm going to spend some of my war bonds. So I'm going to, anyway, first going to visit the HQ. So these spare parts you salvage will be put to good use, Captain. Good work out there. I mean, I'm not too sure what spare parts they mean. I'm really not too sure what that really means. But, you know, whatever. It's a gameplay decision, I guess. Anyway, so I've handed them in and I've got some uh, war bonds. So I'm going to go to my shipyard. And I am going to um, just probably get... I don't know what, what I have. This is what I've got at the bottom here. So we've got the N-Class, and we've got Tribal-Class, and I do like Tribal-Class Destroyers. I have a... I do like them. Uh, s two secondary armaments. No, secondary turrets, and they've got torpedoes. Obviously, that's a submarine. Oh, we haven't got a sub. Should we get a sub? Yeah, let's let's get a sub. Yeah, let's, let's get a sub. Wow. So there you go. Just added it to my fleet. There's my fleet at the bottom. As you can see, total war bonds is 1.7 million. These cost 5 million each. And yes, you can go all the way up to these things here. <laughs> King George V. Uh, South Dakota. Iowa class. You know, all that sort of thing. Bit of lend lease going on there or something. Uh, yeah, Queen Elizabeth. Uh, Battleship Essex class carrier. A hood. There we go, yeah. All of these sort of things. And you see it unlocks at certain experience levels. So I can't just save up my war bonds and buy one of them. You need to actually rank up first before you get there. Uh, right, so we'll just... Uh, we will leave the pot. And we will have a little bit of a drive around. But um, I don't think I'm going to show you any more than that. Because that really... Sum that sort of summarises this entire campaign. You basically just will roam around like this. You will find different fleets and such. And you will engage them and do whatever. There's one of our tutorial ships. So you'll sort of follow us about and give us a helping hand. You can see there's planes going overhead and such. Um, I'm not too sure how much intelligence and things like that is simulated. Uh, oh, we've got some... Oh, what? Uh, Sherbert. Uh, Calais. Can we go all the way up to sort of 
yeah, we can go all the way up the coast, can we? Um, probably not best to because we're going to encounter something a bit naughty here. Because I'm only level 2 with a couple of destroyers, so that's probably not going to work out too well for me. Don't know if this ship... I don't know if there's anti-ship um, batteries on these things. I don't think so. Uh, oh, God, there's some horrible things. They've got six ships in their fleet. And Hang on, let me just pause it for a second. So, uh, they're level 9. Ships, uh, six ships in their fleet. You can see what they've actually got there. And you see this plus, plus, plus? That means it is three times... Well, it's just much better, right? If it's minuses, it means you're better than them. And if it's pluses... They are a lot worse. There's a plus two, so I can't, you know, take on any of these. To be fair, I am right in the, you know, heart of uh, the enemy's territory there. Anyway, I think we will call it there. That's uh, pretty much the campaign. Uh, to summarise the game, it's alright. It's not bad. The thing is, the thing is, I like the game. I think it's alright, but there's a couple of things just digging at me. I can't quite decide who the game is for. As in, if you're wanting a realistic World War II naval simulation, you're probably going to be disappointed at this. The controls are probably too arcadey for you, and it probably doesn't have all of the historical stuff that you would want. And the other side of the coin is if you're wanting just a bit of a mess around um, ship game, then the historical stuff might put you off. So it does straddle that middle ground like the war game does for good or ill. I personally would like to have more simulation in it. I think the controls are a little bit too simple for my liking. However, it really does come down to personal preference, as with everything, really. This is obviously all just my opinions. But, um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how much the game simulates, so like torpedo belts, radar, um, scouting planes, all of that sort of thing, crew levels. I don't know if it simulates any of that. I have no idea. From what I've seen, I don't... Yeah, I just don't think it does. The best way I can summarise it for like me personally is that you know when you have a big cake you've got a really big cake in front of you and it's nice it looks all right it's fairly big as well you know you could share it or you could eat it all if you want and it's covered in icing it's got nice things all over it and you go oh that looks nice so you take a slice you can smell it or oh, you can smell the almond in it and you go mmm that's quite nice that's not a bad cake that but um just just something missing can't quite put my is it needs a bit more flavor needs more salt that's what it needs. It needs more salt. And I think that's how I can sort of summarize this experience for me. It's just just not quite there for me. I think there's going to be some people that are going to really like it. But at the same time, I think that might be sort of overshadowed by the people who either want more in the game or are put off by the historical stuff. It's, it's niche. I think it is quite niche. But... I don't think there's anything else really like it because it's, like I say, simple to play, fun. It is just generally fun, and uh, it is what it is. I think that's the best I can really say. But I think that's really how I'm going to summarize the entire thing, really. Links in the description, as always, and you can check it out yourself. As always, thank you very much for watching. Comments in the comments, and generic partings. Just crashing into a tutorial ship. Sorry.